What is going on, people? We are back at it, breaking down the September live stream, talking about all of the beautiful things we saw. For those of you who missed my 60-second breakdowns, those are also back in the form of YouTube shorts over on the channel now, so you can check those out if you want a quicker way to watch the full breakdown of the live stream. But before we get too far into this, did you know that 72.5% of you watching all of this great Ashes of Creation content are not subscribed? And you could be notified of all of this great Ashes content if you just click that subscribe button. Obviously, if you've heard by now or you're watching this channel, we got the Ranger reveal. I already did a breakdown on this, and I shouldn't really be saying Ranger reveal because it's not the full Ranger archetype. It's just a few basic abilities and some basic weapon attacks for ranged combat, but it's still showing us the Ranger, which we haven't seen in a very long time. But I'm not going to dive too much into this because, again, I did a full video on the Ranger before, but within the ranged combat video, you see some new updated UI, which, again, is alpha, so it's probably a placeholder, and I wouldn't assume this is the final final version by any means we see more of the riverlands biome and we see a empyrean elf ranger who has these cool little ear slits in his hood go up against some minotaurs and i gotta say i really like the ears going through the hood because it shows they're designing the armor around the races so it's not just like copy paste the armor and then there's clipping and all of this the armor that they make really goes to work with each of the races it's something that they've really tried to do and i love the way it's looking so far but anyways again riverlands biome the range combat they show three different abilities snipe quick shot and then airstrike which is this cool like bombardment flip over these enemies type deal it is a very very cool video i recommend you go check it out i really enjoyed this range combat it looks like it's very smooth and you're very flexible in movement and the auto attacking with the bow and arrow seems cool action combat looks good you see action and tab target in this and it's much more differentiated than we saw with the melee combat so that's a good thing and the ui definitely helps with that but going outside of the range combat reveal all the other good stuff there wasn't that many teases or anything to come in this live stream which is weird because normally we get something like a map update or oh this is coming soon we didn't really get any of that it was just ranger and then straight into the character art design where we saw these snake people models which obviously are probably going to come in the desert biome these guys are really cool they're really detailed looking they're in their t pose and not in the game yet so obviously we can't see their animations we then see these living statue knights as they they're called which are these statues that used to be protectors i guess of something that are now enemies but anyways these guys will be npcs that you fight and their body i guess the stone will like form into the protector and attack you and then the stone will fall apart when you die which is a pretty cool npc to fight i love the detail they're putting into each of the npcs to make them kind of stand out from one another and it's not just a bunch of cut and paste mobs that you're fighting each of them have some unique abilities and they have cool animations and things like that so it really makes the world feel unique and different from there we got some zombies and by this and the protectors and what we'll see after the zombies you can tell that intrepid is working on some like graveyardish area right now showing us these guys which hopefully we'll see in alpha 2 but we never know because some of the stuff they work on is stuff we're not going to see in alpha 2 and probably not until closer to the betas or the final version of the game because that's how development works and they're not going to show us everything at once but it wouldn't be a fantasy and MMORPG without zombies in some form. The detail on these guys, like most things Intrepid does, is absolutely amazing. You can see the guts, you can see the skin rotting away. They're pretty cool looking. Steven teased that there'll be some zones because like you have the rock monsters that look like rocks that we saw in the ranged weapon combat reveal that you didn't know were enemies until you approached them. He said we could have guys like these that are the same, that you walk by a grave and all of a sudden they burst their hand out of the ground, really taking you by surprise, which I like that. It's a good surprise for new players because you don't know what's around each corner and it really adds to the exploration of the game and when you first go through a zone you're not going to see a bunch of mobs and then find another way around it you're probably going to venture through because you think it's safe and then all of a sudden boom these guys pop out of the ground and try to turn you into a zombie i guess i don't really know but then we have these ghosts in armor which there's no visual effects yet which is why they probably look a little weird to you in some cases but you can see they have their skeleton torso you can see their spine and their rib cage and all that which is pretty cool and and once these guys are animated, I bet they will look really cool. I'm sure these are in that graveyardish area that the zombies are also in, which I've always liked those kind of zones in MMO, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. You can see these ghosts are very clad in armor. I'm hoping we see more ghosts than just humanoid ghosts and maybe some dwarfish ghosts and some orc ghosts and things like that down the road because there aren't just humans populating this world, so you don't want to just see human ghosts. 
From here, we get the Sable Tooth Cub, which is this cute little cosmetic skin pet. That was a cosmetic pack that you could purchase previously. Again, pretty cool looking guy. One thing I have noticed from the live streams lately too, is that Intrepid seems to have gone a bit more away from showing us all the cosmetics and showing us some actual in-game stuff, which I very much appreciate. I love seeing the cosmetic work that they do. They're very cool looking armor sets, but I also want to see the end-game NPCs and achievable armor stuff. And then we get this Minotaur creature that we saw in the Ranger gameplay, just showing us a model. One thing we did learn a bit lore-wise about the Minotaurs in the live stream is that they're this nomadic sort of creature living out in the world, and they really benefited from the fall of Era and all of the other races leaving. That is when they built themselves up and became this strong faction that you'd want to fight. And now they're looking for revenge on the player characters for really holding them back to begin with, and so they're going to be a really tough foe to beat. I would imagine specifically the dwarves are who really held them back because we saw last month's live stream a lot of concept art of dwarven skeletons strapped to them and things like that because they had really hated the dwarves and they wore them as trophies so i imagine that ties into it we then see a shield and spear which was wielded by one of these minotaur creatures and then the empyrean elf full models these guys looking pretty nifty again i don't know how i feel about the faces they don't feel like the concept that they showed originally to me uh, again character customization is definitely going to play into this though and i want to see more of that you can see this male empyrean elf he looks like he's rocking the male Kalar human body which i don't know if intrepid swapped it or they're just gonna have similar body builds or what but that's interesting to me i'll put a side by side up and you can tell they're pretty similar body type they even have the rib cages showing through so i don't know what's going on there but they did show concept for the kalar humans again so these guys are going through the process of once again getting revamped and refreshed based on player feedback that'll definitely be something to look for when we see the full human models which anyways on from the empyrean i talked about the kalar human heads that concept that we got right here once again going through the makeover process i mean they're human heads they're your basic human heads so i don't really have any comments on it i think they look good the concept art looks good the nakua though i love the nakua i love the take they're taking on they're not your traditional dwarves that you're used to you got this more tropical islander feel and i really love it originally i was going towards the dunier when i make a dwarf i might play one of these guys instead who knows but i haven't even seen the toner yet it's such a tough decision um anyways from there that's it that's all we saw then we had the q a which i don't tend to do q a because there's not a lot of new stuff in there if you want to go check that out in the live stream links in the description below otherwise let me know your favorite part of the september live stream for ashes of creation and i know you're gonna say range combat so try to be unique here you know but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video comment down below your favorite part and if you're new to ashes and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetic packs or just hang out and wait until you can step foot into vera otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come